Hello students, uh, you know in our last class uh, we studied about uh, Unit 2, Lesson 1. The unit title was uh, Traffic Education and uh, uh, today we will cover uh, in Lesson 2 from the same unit. So it's also about traffic education, how we get educated about uh, traffic uh, and transport systems. Okay. So, what's the name of the title of lesson two? The name is uh, Traffic Capital of the World. So, from the title uh, of the passage, you can understand that uh, uh, which city uh, has been mentioned here. Okay, it's obviously our capital city, Dhaka. Okay, so Dhaka has been called uh, the traffic capital of the world. In you know, Kolkata, is called uh, the city of um, the capital city of culture, cultural capital, whereas uh, uh, our Dhaka city uh, has been called uh, the traffic ca capital of the world by the writer, by the reporter. Okay, here. So it's quite understandable uh, from the title that uh, we are living in a city, in a capital city, uh, which is jammed with. Uh, uh, traffics and uh, not only jammed, it's a terribly jammed or absolutely jam packed. Okay, so the traffic system, you know, the traffic system of this city is um, very haphazard. Okay, it's not a uh, obviously, it's not a good one. Okay, it's not an expected one. You know, all the capital cities in the world are, are full of traffics, uh, but. Uh, uh, traffic management uh, is the key here. Okay, uh, traffic transportation system is uh, most important here, and traffic networks, uh, the networks of roads and highways, okay, are also related to traffic jam. Okay, dear students, uh, without uh, much ado, uh, let's learn uh, what has been said in the text. Okay, so there are a few questions that has been asked. Uh, to you. Uh, the first question is, what do you think of traffic jams in our cities? Yeah. Okay, so uh, you'd uh, let us know uh, about your feeling uh, about the traffic jams in our cities. So obviously, uh, it's a terrible experience, uh, especially by the students okay, who, have to, who have to commute uh, on a regular basis um, to reach their schools and colleges. Uh, and uh, to leave for home, right? Okay, dear students, uh, the next question is what are, are the reasons of a traffic jam? So it's very important to think about the reasons, okay? Uh, before reading a text, uh, well, it's very fine that uh, you will find uh, some points uh, uh, in the text uh, which have been discussed uh, uh, as the reasons of traffic jams, uh, but uh, it's very important to brainstorm uh, to bring out uh, few reasons, okay? Uh, as a citizen, you should be very, very aware of these uh, facts of such situations like traffic jams and other city problems, okay? So we expect that uh, as young learners, as young citizens, uh, you think about the problems uh, and prospects of your country. Okay, and uh, now the next question is how would a foreigner feel about our traffic system? So, if you go abroad, if you go to another country, and whenever you see uh, a high level of traffic system uh, functioning in different capital cities uh, like uh, in Singapore, um, Paris, uh, uh, New York, or, and the other big cities, even our a neighboring country, India's um, capital, Delhi. Okay, so if you come here, the traffic system, so then uh, you can bring out some um, uh, some soli solutions. Okay, how they solve their problem? Okay, uh, they have also huge uh, crowds of people who live in the uh, capital city. Yeah, actually, um, in almost every capital city, there are hundreds uh, of. Uh, uh, millions of people okay, uh, live in ca capital cities. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, there's about uh, 10 to 15 um, million of people who live there. 
Okay, dear students. Uh, uh, now, uh, we would like to go through the passage, go through the text um, in section 2. What has been said, what has been asked to, to do. Uh, now, read this article written by Michael Hobbs, uh, titled Welcome to the Traffic ca Capital of the World. So, Michael Hobbs uh, is a worker, uh, he's an NG worker, uh, maybe working in a developing sector in a project in uh, Bangladesh. Uh, he's a foreigner and he has written about his experience uh, uh, of um, traffic problems, uh, especially uh, of our capital city, Dhaka. Well, students, let's uh, start reading the text. I am in a tiny steel cage attached to a motorcycle. So on the writer, the speaker has used the first uh, per has used the first person I here. He is the narrator. He is the speaker. So he has uh, said that I am in a tiny steel cage attached to a motorcycle. So tiny steel cage. Tiny means small. Steel cage. You can understand. You can visualize. Uh, it uh, sounds like a CNG auto rickshaw, CNG, right? Okay, a uh, tiny steel cage attached to a motorcycle. So, a CNG usually works uh, like, uh, functions like a motorcycle, though it has a surrounding, um, well, that means uh, it has a uh, surrounding, right? Okay. So what has been said? It has to be a motorcycle stuttering through traffic in Dhaka. Stuttering through traffic in Dhaka. Stuttering means stammering. Stammering means what? Stammering is also a difficult word. So stutter means uh, whenever we can speak fluently, whenever you know, we uh, speak with some breaks or like some mm, um, pro actually mm, it's a speech problem. Okay. Uh, whenever we speak, uh, if we can't speak fluently, uh, if we can't uh, speak with a natural flow, uh, with the natural uh, smooth flow, then we call it a stuttering. Okay, sometimes we have to go back and forth. Okay, uh, so that's called the stuttering. Starting through traffic in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Mm, the second sentence is: uh, In the last uh, ten minutes, uh, we have uh, moved forward uh, maybe three feet. Uh, so in the last 10 minutes, uh, the writer's experience is terrible here, right? In the last 10 minutes, uh, we have moved forward maybe three feet only. Only three feet in 10 minutes, okay? So in 60 minutes, it will be 60 into three, my goodness, only 80 feet, okay? So in an hour, if you have to wait, uh, if you can go, if you can move uh, uh, if you can pass only eight and feet my goodness it's terrible the average uh, uh, counting on the uh, the average uh, calculation is very terrible right horrific okay then in the last 10 minutes so we have moved uh, forward maybe three feet inch by inch the driver wrenching the wheel left and right wrenching means what wrenching means uh, uh, to make something twist and turn, okay? To move something in a twisting and turning uh, fashion, okay? So you can imagine, you can visualize how a um, three-wheeler, like a CNG, drives uh, during uh, his drive, he has to wrench, he has to move left and forth, inch by inch, right? So the situation is horrible uh, in Dhaka, especially. Well, then the driver wrenching the wheel left and right, wriggling deeper into the wedge. Uh, wriggle, wriggle uh, it has a similar meaning. Okay, it's like wrenching, uh, wriggling deeper into the wedge. Wedge, wedge is um, uh, it's like a, um, the shape is like a triangle. Okay. A wedge is usually the top upper side of a triangle. The narrower side is called the wedge. Uh, so wriggling deeper into the wedge between delivery truck and the rickshaw in front of us. So a delivery truck, that means a truck, okay, a pickup van, okay, and uh, a rickshaw. And uh, between these two vehicles, the, the speaker's um, auto rickshaw or CNG. 
was located right at that northern okay. students can you understand okay then up ahead the traffic is jammed so close Okay, the next paragraph is uh, up ahead, uh, the traffic is jammed so close together that pedestrians are climbing over pickup trucks and through empty rickshaws to cross the street. So you can uh, imagine the situation very easily. Okay, you know about our uh, traffic condition in Dhaka city very well. You are aware of that, you are fully aware of that. So up ahead, the traffic is jammed so close uh, together that okay so in a in the front of the um, speaker um, the traffic is jammed so close together that pedestrians are climbing over pickup trucks so <laughs> pedestrians are climbing up pickup trucks so you can understand that uh, pedestrians means uh, people who walk on foot uh, who use um, the roads by using their feet okay um, they usually walk um, okay so pedestrians so uh, people who are walking on the roads okay in general uh, the meaning is like this um, are climbing over pickup trucks and to throw empty rickshaws to cross the street so very often we do this uh, right we have this practice that uh, we cross the while we cross the road uh, going through an empty rickshaw passing through an empty rickshaw right two rows uh, to my left is an ambulance so two rows uh, to my left is an ambulance so there was an ambulance uh, uh, which was uh, you know blowing uh, its uh, um, yeah, uh, the ambulance was uh, making uh, noise, okay, it was uh, giving signals uh, for a free passage, uh, and blue light is being used lessly, so without any use, okay, without uh, any way, seeing no way out, the ambulance driver was uh, spinning uh, the light, the blue light, the light of an ambulance. Uh, uh, spinning uselessly so this is what the streets here look like uh, from seven o'clock in the morning until ten o'clock at night so this is the situation from seven o'clock in the morning uh, till ten o'clock at night my goodness so for, for 14 years hours uh, almost the same situation um, remain the situation remains the same in Dhaka city it's a horrible traffic jam uh, this is what the streets here look like okay uh, if you are rich uh, you experience uh, it uh, from the back seat of a car so the rich people uh, they don't have to go to the noise the heavy noise made by the uh, vehicles okay uh, they usually stay inside cars, uh, air conditioned cars, okay. So they are lucky in that sense, okay. They can pass their time with uh, newspapers, okay, uh, browsing internet, okay, in many other ways, right. But the poor people, they are helpless. Okay, then if you are poor, you are in a rickshaw bedding in the exhaust. So, Poor people, uh, they have to sit in rickshaw and breathing in the exhaust. It's, so the meaning of the word exhaust here is very important. Exhaust in the exhaust. So after definite article the, the word exhaust has been used. So it's not a verb, it's a noun, remember? Okay, the noun form has the same spelling. Exhausted, we call them. Okay, if we become tired, then we call that. Uh, Oh, I'm exhausted but this exhaust is different okay this exhaust means the remainings are created uh, by you know uh, uh, by petrol and uh, petrol diesel uh, and uh, other um, 
I mean, uh, pollutants uh, that is created uh, by uh, different chemicals uh, used by uh, engines, right? Vehicle engines. Okay. If you reach, okay, then uh, we have read the sentence, the third paragraph. Mm. I'm sitting uh, in the back of a CNG. I'm sitting in the back of a CNG. So the speaker. Uh, he was sitting in a CNG, a three-wheeled motorcycle shaped like a slice of pie. Like a slice of pie. Okay, you know, pie is a food. Pie, you know about pie chart. Okay, a circular, uh, a round uh, food item, fast food item is pie. And covered with uh, scrap metal. Scrap metal. So, metals like iron, which... Uh, uh, like waste um, metal uh, which is sold after being used up okay then uh, with those scrap metals uh, different uh, things are made okay uh, steel and um, iron materials are made okay okay then I'm here working uh, on a human rights project so the speaker was working in it human rights project Uh, but whenever I ask uh, people in Dhaka uh, what they think uh, international organizations should really be working on, they tell me about uh, the track. So mm, the speaker is very curious to know about uh, the crisis and the critical um, um, the things that are really necessary uh, to look on, okay, uh, to concentrate, uh, uh, especially from the government um, view, okay, from the government's, government's corner, okay. Okay, the next paragraph is elevating traffic congestion is uh, one of the major developing challenges of our time. Okay, so the next paragraph starts with the sentence, elevating traffic congestion is one of the major developing challenges of our time, of course. Alleviating traffic congestion. You know what is traffic congestion? Okay, when traffic's are uh, in a congested situation, we call the traffic congestion. And alleviating means uh, to reduce uh, um, the traffic congestion. Alleviating means reducing something. Okay, traffic congestion is one of the major challenges of our time. Okay, it's not only for Bangladesh; it's also for uh, other countries as well. Okay, half the world's population already lives in cities, and the United Nations estimates uh, that uh, uh, the proportion will rise uh, nearly 70 percent by 2050. Okay, so almost uh, half of the people in the world they live in cities, uh, so they are likely to live. Uh, um, uh, more people are likely to live in cities uh, by uh, 2050. Uh, it would be. Uh, about 70 percent of the people so majority of the people are likely to live in cities uh, in the next 30 years okay uh, talk the world's the densest and fastest growing city so densest the most uh, crowded city in the world talk is a case study in how this problem got so bad and why it's so difficult to solve so Dhaka has become a case study for many researchers okay case study means uh, a study and investigation uh, a research uh, that is done by researchers okay and before a research um, they uh, study uh, some people some places uh, for their research purpose okay okay Mutaka's infrastructure doesn't uh, match the scale of his population so the next uh, paragraph begins with the sentence, Dhaka's infrastructure doesn't match the scale of his population. So the ratio between infrastructure, between buildings and rivers uh, and other infrastructures uh, uh, with, um, with population in comparison to population. Uh, if we talk about uh, Dhaka city, then it's uh, really uh, staggering, okay? the proportion is uh, uh, not an equivalent one it's very unequal okay just seven percent of the city is covered by 
almost uh, compared with around 25% of Paris and Vienna. So Paris, the capital city of France and Vienna, are one of the largest cities uh, of Switzerland. Okay, uh, so. In those cities, uh, around 25% uh, places or spaces are covered with roads and highways, whereas in Dhaka, only 7% uh, spaces uh, is covered uh, uh, with um, roads and highways. Okay. Dhaka also suffers from the absence of a planned road network. network. So, that's one of the key problems, okay? Um, one of the key problems is uh, lack of planning and another one is uh, lack of management, okay? So there are uh, 650 major intersections uh, but only 60 traffic lights. Uh, you know what is intersection? Uh, a synonym for intersection is crossroads, okay? Whenever you uh, two roads crosses each other, we call it crossroads, okay? In Bengali, it's called Churasta. Okay, so that's called intersection. So only 60 um, traffic lights are there in 650 major intersections. My goodness, uh, so it's horrible. Now that means uh, the police service isn't enforcing driving or parking rules, and they are in the intersections directing traffic. So traffic police, we see traffic police to direct uh, um, traffics, um, to direct uh, uh, vehicles, to direct uh, the people uh, who are driving cars and other vehicles. And uh, actually it has become a very, very old-fashioned uh, uh, system in comparison to or modern cities where we uh, see a sound uh, traffic system, okay, a highly developed traffic system. Okay. So the next paragraph starts. Uh, the cost of Dhaka's uh, traffic congestion is estimated at uh, 308 uh, billion a uh, year. 308 billion. So one billion is 100 crores so equals uh, uh, 1 billion so it's 300 380 uh, uh, crores dollars so not in BDT it's in dollar remember the traffic condition is estimated uh, at 3.8 billion a year and that's uh, just the delays and air pollution the delays and uh, for delays uh, uh, to rich offices okay and there's a huge delay which is very costly uh, and the air pollution uh, has a huge cost uh, uh, and um, um, actually um, these two things uh, delay and uh, pollution they are aftermath and they are um, after effect consequences uh, uh, created uh, by uh, traffic congestion okay not the less tangible losses in quality of life so less tangible tangible is something uh, which you can see you can touch okay and intangible is something uh, which we can see okay so not the less tangible losses in quality of life um, so quality of life, standard of life, is something uh, which is uh, not uh, tangible, which we can't uh, see, it's not visible, so it has been called less tangible. Okay, paradoxically, the poor infrastructure is uh, one of the reasons why the city is growing so far. Okay. Uh, paradoxically, what does the word paradoxically mean? The poor infrastructure uh, is one of the reasons why the city is growing so fast. So something is paradoxical. Um, uh, whenever uh, something has double standards, then we call it paradoxical. Okay? Apparently, outwardly, we see one thing, uh, but inwardly, different things uh, happen. Okay? We see to happen different things, so we find a different result, and we call it paradoxical. Paradoxically, 
and the poor infrastructure is one of the reasons why the city is growing so fast. So this uh, sentence is a bit too critical. You need to apply your critical thinking to understand this sentence. How is it possible? Um, the poor infrastructure is one of the reasons why the city is growing so fast. It's growing in the positive sense or in the negative sense? Okay. Uh, okay, um, that is the center of the city, the um, uh, inner center of the city. Uh, in uh, most of the cities like Taka, you will find uh, to grow uh, most intensely. Why? Uh, because you will find that uh, uh, the suburbs of uh, such uh, cities like Taka. Um, uh, there is a poor infrastructure around the suburbs, so which is why everything grows uh, in the center, uh, in the core section of the city. Okay? All the facilities and amenities of uh, city life uh, are available uh, in the central areas. Okay? So without you know, roads, uh, trains uh, to whisk them uh, to the suburbs, uh, and Taka. Residents uh, have uh, no choice but to crowd into the middle, uh, set up uh, slums within high rises, and work to work. So, the last sentence uh, of uh, today's uh, lesson is um, without roads or trains to whisk them to the suburbs. So, whisk, uh, what does this word mean? Whisk means uh, to move uh, people, to carry people, to bring people or something to somewhere. Okay, with, without roads or trains to whisk them to the suburbs. Uh, have you understood what is suburb? Another uh, synonym for suburb is outskirts. Okay, outskirts. Uh, in Bengali, we call it Shahartali. Okay, without roads or trains to whisk them to the suburbs, and Dhaka residents uh, have no choice but to crowd into the middle. So, since uh, the people of Dhaka, they have to commute for a long time uh, which is why uh, they often um, leave they try to live in the uh, I mean in poor infrastructures like uh, in ordinary uh, houses okay near their offices okay so the first of trains to whisk them uh, to the suburbs and Dhaka residents uh, have no choice but crowd into the middle, set up slums between high rises. Uh, okay, even in you know in Gulshan in Dhaka, okay, the richest people, one of the richest sections of Dhaka city, and they live um, in Gulshan, but you'll see. Uh, Slums, slum dwellers as well. Okay. Uh, slums between high rises and uh, what to work. So uh, it's uh, very common, right? So the what has been said here? It has been said that uh, people uh, I they usually try to live here you know, near the central area, near the their offices and um, they make a larger um, crowd uh, staying uh, near their offices and even uh, very often they live in ordinary houses and uh, some working class people um, uh, they live in the slums uh. so i have given you the example of uh, gulshan you know there are slums in gulshan uh, near the um, Gulshan Lake, even on the bank of the Gulshan Lake, right? So this is a common, common scenario in Dhaka city. Okay? So your yeah, students, you have to understand uh, about our problems, you have to think actively to solve our problems, okay? Uh, as a say, um, conscious citizen, okay? You have to think how we can solve our problems, okay? I will ask you to read English newspapers, so to read reports uh, uh, in Bengali and in English, okay? Uh, you can read two newspapers, uh, you can read uh, 
a similar report, maybe a report on traffic jam uh, from a Bengali newspaper and uh, from an English newspaper, that would benefit you a lot. Of your students. So, dear students, in our next class, uh, we will uh, try to solve the problems, I mean, to solve uh, the questions regarding this text. And I will uh, complete the uh, full text in our next class. Okay? So, no more today. Bye for now. See you in the next class. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, the students uh, today will study